So thank you, Ryan, for being here. Sure. Thanks. Awesome. Awesome. Thanks, guys. Um, so as Jamie said, my name is Ryan Stonelson, and my company is Accelerate Marketing. And uh, we've been around for about five years. Um, it's, it's amazing how things have changed online and, and in my life over the past, I'd say, you know, 10 to 15 years. Because, you know, I started my, my career, as we were talking about in the beginning, as a, as a farmer rep. And, uh, you know, way back, you know, years ago, I went to the University of Florida. And, you know, I had a dream of starting my own company and being able to run that company from wherever I wanted to. You know, that was, that was my dream. So that's what, that was kind of the genesis of, of, of my company. Uh, we're, we're bi-coastal, so we're in Florida, and we're also here in, in California. Um, what we do is we're an online marketing company, so we basically are lead gen for businesses. So we get the phone to ring for, for other businesses, and we do, we do that primarily through reputation management and marketing, but we also do that through local optimization strategies and online marketing strategies that basically get our clients on the first page of Google with a great reputation. So how many of you guys have like used Yelp or look for businesses on Yelp or okay. So you know what you're familiar with, yeah, and that'd be an awesome thing. <laughs> Cause I'm always looking to, to try to try to get some um, you know this and that's and right now we're actually, you know, we're using, you know, Jamie had mentioned the fact that, that we had connected via social media. Well, um, social media, as you know, is very powerful now. I mean, it's Facebook and Twitter and all that, but you know, we've even got, like right now, I'm doing a, uh, a Google Hangout, so we're streaming this live on the internet, so other people are seeing this, um, not just here you know, locally, but you know, in this classroom, but, but all over the world. And so the, the power of this is, is huge. And so what we're doing is, is we're bringing that technology to businesses, and it's really kind of mind-blowing. To, to, I mean, they, don't even, they can't even wrap their mind around the fact that they are the news now, like they are the media. So they can literally create, they can have their own TV station if they really want to, just like I'm doing right now. So, um, but today, primarily what I'm going to talk about is reputation. So it's referral marketing. So in the past, that's always been done from, you know, like Jamie introducing me to somebody else that might need my services, okay? Well, now that's done through Yelp, through Bing, through Yahoo, through Google, and <clears throat> Just show of hands. So, how many guys have how many of you guys have ever reviewed a business? So, like Yelp. You guys ever use Yelp? Okay. So that is referral marketing. So that is so a lot of these businesses that I talk to, they want us to get them on the first page of Google. They want us to get them at the top of Google. You know, just get us at the on the first page because that's what's gonna that's what's gonna get us business. Well, it will, but only if they have a great reputation. Okay. So those online reviews are very, very powerful. And just to give you a little bit, let's see, let's pull them up. Oops, page two. there we go, cool. So I've been, you know, featured in the Miami Herald and CBS Market Watch, etc. Um, because from this presentation, like what I, what I'm telling you right now, I've, I've shared this on, and this is what you can. I mean, it's amazing. If you guys have great information, you will get, you will get coverage on those kind of, you know, CBS Market Watch, etc. This is. That's how current this information is and, and how relevant it is. So every day, as we know, and this is what everybody's really talking about, is every day people are looking for dentists, for appliance repair people, for locksmiths. And there's, these are the number of searches that people are, are doing every day for these specific keywords on Google, et cetera. Um, and I even I have my, I got the bad. What's that? Uh, these are monthly numbers. Those are monthly numbers. So. Um, the question, though, is, is would you buy a product or service from, from somebody that has bad ratings or reviews? I mean, I guess, obviously, you guys know that, you know, you're going you're gonna to go with the business that's got the best reviews. So it's, it's really pretty simple. So here's, here's kind of a deeper question, though, is if you've got two products or services and one has 10 good reviews and the other one has three good reviews and one bad, you're probably going to go with the one that has 10 good reviews, right? So, so that's, that's why it's, it's critical for, for businesses to manage their reputation to make sure that they're getting as many of these good online reviews as they possibly can get because once they get them, it will help them differentiate themselves from their competition. So that's really the key and that's one of the biggest changes. So I'm going to go over four major game changers that you guys are, that have happened over the past year, okay, in online marketing. Um, so have you guys, do you guys take any courses on online marketing here or is it just primarily just like kind of billboards and what do you guys just, Give me some feedback on what you guys are, are learning now. Okay.
but do you have anything like PP, you know, PPC, organic, you know, like search optimization, anything like that? Okay. Okay. Sounds like you guys need a professor, maybe. <laughs> I, all, all I'm asking for is just a parking space right out here. That's all I, that's all I, that's all I need. Yeah, but see, you guys, I mean, you, you are the, I mean, I've seen it. I see it all the time. I mean, you guys can bring this information to the marketplace because you get it. I mean, you've, you've grown up with this stuff. You've grown up with Facebook. You've grown, so, I mean, the relevancy of this information is, is real to you guys. You guys get it. I've seen it because I've tried to hire people that are older, and it doesn't work a lot of times because they don't get it. I just, I mean, it just is what it is. I'm just, it might be blunt, but whatever. I mean, it's, it just, they don't understand it. And I have to go through a training process of six months to a year just to get them to really get on board with what you guys just take for granted as being, you know, something that you know uh, because you've been exposed to it. So the most important way you can market your business is through reputation. So, you know, a lot of our clients, as I've already shared with you, they, they just want to get online. They just want to, you know, do PPC. They just want to, you know, get on the first page of Google but if I get them on the first page of Google with a bad reputation, I'm not doing them any good because ultimately no one's going to call them. And by the way, all of the, all of the marketing that you guys are doing, is it all points back to this because when somebody sees your billboard ad that you might you know, recommend one of your clients to do or a TV spot or a radio spot, what do you guys do when you're looking for something? You, I mean, I'll, I know for me, like I'll pick up my phone and I'll do a secondary search to see if some, you know, if other people are saying great things about that business, right? That's what's happening. That's that's today's marketing, and so that's why I'm saying, you know, that connection between the the business owner and the consumer has not been made yet. The business owner doesn't understand that people are doing those kind of searches. They don't understand that you guys are the they're you're the new consumers, and you guys are doing those kind of searches. So there's a there's a big disconnect there. Okay. And so um, that's where you guys have a huge opportunity, you know, because you guys can bring this to the to the marketplace and really get them educated. So your reputation is everything. This is this is the presentation that I give to 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 my clients, to my prospective clients. So I'm giving you, I'm basically selling you on reputation marketing and management. You're seeing what I give as a presentation to people that might that are actually candidates for being new clients of mine. So it's, it'll be interesting for you guys to give me feedback on what you think you know, this, this presentation um, does for you. So the beauty is, is that a lot of these businesses don't even know that, well, their competition doesn't know about this. So when I present this information to an individual, uh, a potential client of mine, they're, they're blown away because it's new to them, and so therefore it's new to their competition. So there's a huge opportunity for them to really capitalize on this and separate themselves from, from their, their competition. So game changer number one is that, and if you guys can do this on your, your smartphones, your iPad right now, if you type in any company's name plus their city, it reveals that company's reputation. So, and I'll show you right, we can probably even do a live example of this, but um, so if you go to Google and you type in, for example, this guy, you know, he's, uh, this is not good, okay? I <laughs> would not, would not want to be this guy, right? Because Doug Ailman has a bad reputation. So this is what's happening every day, is people are typing in his, his name and they're typing in his city. And you know this is true because if you, like for example, like I see you're on your, your Mac back there. If you type in like a business that you know locally and you type in their city, Google, have you guys heard of Google Suggest? So Google Suggest is, is when Google actually gives you the remaining words in a phrase because it's suggesting to you what it knows other people are typing on a regular basis. Every time you type in a business name in their city, it will suggest the word reviews. What is that telling you? A lot of people are typing in the word reviews with businesses. They're trying to find out what other people are saying about a business. And if, they're, if they see bad information about a business, do you think they're going to go and, yeah, they're not. I'm not. So, um, so you can see that this is an important thing for businesses to manage. So, and, and the beauty of, of reviews is, and this is what's really important for you guys to see, is they're very trusted. And I'm going to show you this in a second. So if I, like Jamie, you know, we've known each other for a long time. So if I say to Jamie, man, you've got to go see this. You've got to go to this restaurant. It's, it's amazing. 
So you can't get any better type of marketing than that. And it's been proven. Is that my computer? I don't know what that was. <laughs> okay. Um, so you can't really get any better. I mean, that's just like the top, top, top type of marketing. If I'm recommending to you to go to this restaurant, that's the best kind of marketing you can possibly get because I'm taking the time to tell you what it is, you know, blah, blah, blah. So you get that. So a review is the same thing. It's just made, it's made generically. So there's the, and I'm going to get to this. So the second step of this process is first manage it. And in other words, get as many reviews as possible, then, but then market those reviews to the world so that other people see that those reviews are out there. So that's the next phase. And so I'm going to get there in a second. But so you guys get this. This is, this is bad. It's really easy to get that. So um, game changer number two is that, is that these reviews are showing up in every type of marketing you do online. So you literally cannot do any type of, there's, I mean, whether it's PPC, you guys heard of PPC, so pay-per-click. So businesses will actually pay per click to be on Google. So those top links up there, man, I wish I had my pointer right now. Um, so, so those top links up there, those the, in the yellow, those are all PPC. So businesses are paying to get in that, in that section up there. And they're paying, like, a, I don't know if you guys know this, is kind of crazy, but we actually have, we have personal injury attorneys that are our clients, and, um, and they're, they're, they'll pay $100 a click just for a click, <laughs> okay? How would you guys like to know that, you know, you'd be paying $100 every single time click, somebody clicked on your link, <laughs> right? So that's, so what's that telling you? It's, you guys have taken, like, economics, so supply and demand. So the supply is short, the demand is super high, these guys are getting paid a lot of money, you know, obviously, for these, for these cases. So, um, but anyway, so that's pay-per-click, and then down there, underneath where it's off yellow down there is, you know, you can see that's organic, okay? And actually, that's maps, okay? So you guys all familiar with the maps listings? Okay, so you know, so maps listings is where a local business gets on that first page of Google, and they've got a pin, they've got a map listing. So they're in the, if they're in the A pin, it's like score, you know, because they're, they're in the top of all the local businesses for that map. So, so anyway, so the point we're trying to make here, though, is, is that your reputation as a, as a business owner is inseparable from any type of marketing you do because you can see those stars show up in every single type of, every, everywhere a business would possibly be in the results, in the search results. You guys see that? So, um, so that is, it's important for you guys to see. Um, how often do you guys just had a, do you guys look for businesses on Google or do you guys go to Yelp? Google, Google. Okay. So do you guys see you guys see this then, right? So you guys, so do you would you guys pay attention to the reviews? Yeah. Right. See this. I mean, this is like this needs to be taught. <laughs> like I mean, this needs, you know. I mean, this is like critical stuff for for marketing guy because this is stuff that. I mean, because I got my degree in accounting, so I don't know. I mean, I was going to be like a, you know, I was going to be a bookkeeper. I, I don't know. I was going to like manage numbers. I, did, I never did that. I went in sales, so I, obviously I went for the wrong degree. But, but, but you guys, as a marketing person, you guys are going to be basically managing the this, you know, maybe a marketing campaign for a business, right? So this is very, this is this is hugely. Re I mean, I mean, yeah. And, and there's just so you guys, it's just I think it's important for you guys just to know that there's businesses like mine out there that are managing just this aspect of a business's marketing. Just this. I mean, just reputation. Because, and again, I think, and I might be a little biased, obviously, but I think this is really foundational because, you know, if people aren't saying good things about a business, then, you know, I think that, you know, that's going to affect every other type of marketing that you guys do. So I think you guys can see that. So, um, Game changer number three, uh, SEO, social media, pay-per-click, local marketing, none of it works anymore. So we've sold, like we do SEO, we do social media, we post content for our clients on social media, we do pay-per-click, we manage pay-per-click campaigns for our clients, so we'll actually get them on the first page of Google for their keywords. Um, local marketing, we get them on the maps, that's a different you know, service that we provide. These are all different services that we provide, and we, we generally we, we charge a monthly service charge for these services. But none of that works if you if you have a bad reputation. So I, you guys, I don't want to be a dead horse, but yeah, okay. I think you guys get the point on that. <laughs> so create a five. So this is the these are the steps. So it's first to create a five star reputation, and then market 
that reputation in into the marketplace. So get that. So in other words, once you once you build those reviews online, it's then taking those reviews and getting getting them on social media, creating videos about about your reputation, and posting those reviews on your website, etc., so that people can see that you guys have a great reputation online. Yeah. Um, when you have like a company that's just like in the gutter with reviews, just horrible reviews, yeah. how do you, is there any hope for them to get out of that? It's a good question. I'm going to get to that. Okay. So let me, yeah, that's a good, good question. Um, and I'm definitely, ask me that question at the end, because I'm, that's one of the things I'm going to talk about for sure. So, so game changer number four is reviews send you, and here's the beauty, is is that reviews send you pre-qualified, pre-sold customers because buyers trust reviews. Remember I told you earlier about how, you know, like if I recommended, you know, a restaurant to Jamie, she's probably going to, tr you know, trust, you know, what I say, you know. Um, maybe, I don't know. She might trust me. So 72% of buyers trust reviews as much as personal recommendations. So this is actually, there's a study that was done that shows this. Because what they wanted to find out is what the tr most trusted form of marketing is. This is pretty, this is relevant to you guys. This is like right up here. This is going to be kind of cool for you guys. Check this out. So, gosh, I kind of gave away. Yeah, well, oh, shoot. Let me, so what, what do you guys think is the most trusted form of marketing? I'm not going to give away. What do you guys think? Go. Yeah. Teacher. <laughs> you will? Re is, is a one-on-one -on -one referral. Is actually like a brother. It's what I was talking about earlier. That's, that type of marketing is like, Pinnacle. That's like at the top. Okay. Right. What do you What do you think is right behind that? So consumer opinions posted online. These reviews that we've been talking about are trusted just below that. And then this is this is what's kind of interesting though, is that even an editor like this is like if if I was like a marketing guy for a, for a business, I would love to have my client have like a front page article in the Wall Street Journal or the New York Times. Right. Because that's like it's like free advertising, right? So that is even trusted. That front page article is even trusted less than these consumer opinions posted online. These reviews that I'm talking about. So you, can you see the the, the magnitude of, of what we're talking about here? I mean, you you could get a front page article on the USA Today about your your business owner, and it still wouldn't it wouldn't stack up to these these reviews. So, and even that brand new website that you guys are, I'm sure, is going to be the first thing that you're going to do for a, for a small business. You know, you're going to make a website for them. It still doesn't stack up to this. Okay? So, so there's the recommendations from people that we know. Consum oh, sorry. Oops. So, consumer opinions posted online. And then even more than those email lists that you guys all love being on and spam, you know, you guys probably love that anyway. But, yeah, they're not trusted as much. Ads on TV. There's your ads on TV, not trusted as much as these reviews. So um, text ads on mobile phones, et cetera. So, so there you go. So, um, so why, why reputation is vital? So here's the, this is kind of interesting. So um, consumers look up an average of 10 reviews before making a decision. So one of the things is, is okay, well, how many reviews are people actually going to look up in order to determine if, if they're going to like trust a business? So that, that magic number is 10. And then 70% of consumers trust a business with at least six to 10 reviews. So that magic number of the, because this kind of points to your question is, is you know, you know, how do you turn the tide for, this, for these reviews and how do you make it going in the right direction? More than that is, is you know, first, a lot of these, co these companies that we work with, they don't even have enough reviews to be trusted in the first place. They don't even have, you know, a lot of them are like, oh, well, we don't have a reputation, so that's good. You know, we're like, no, I mean, because if somebody finds that you don't have a reputation, then you're not trusted. You know, so you, so it's, it's not just a matter of, okay, well, I just want to kind of stay out of the pool and not play at all because then I'll, you know, then I'm okay. You know, but no, it's, this is, this is what's going on is that they need to get to that kind of magic number to be trusted and in order to, um, yeah, just to be trusted in, in the general, in general. So, so um, without a, so really, you know, it's about getting as close to five stars as possible but you want to get as many reviews as possible so that this is an ongoing, and that's what I, the other thing I, I try to talk to my clients about is this is an ongoing process. It's not just, it's not just about like, you know, getting the 10 reviews. This is an, you always want to stay ahead of your competition and make sure that you have as many reviews as you possibly can that are as high um, rated as possible. So what is reputation marketing? It's positioning yourself as a market leader in front of thousands of buyers with that five-star reputation. So what do you think are some, would be some good ways to actually get 
these these reviews out there to the market. Yeah. I like to get people to give you reviews. Yeah. Um, I was at a restaurant one time and they offered like complimentary dessert for people to give them a review on Yelp. That's a. Oh. Me and five friends did it. Did you do it? You did it. And I mean, you get free desserts and you're excited about it. You like dessert. Man, so exactly. Exactly. You, with somebody else. So that's that's a way to get reviews. Um, what you know, I guess the other so. So you got well. Keep in mind now. One of the things that, like the terms of service for Google and Yelp, um, they have TOSs. So the TOSs say that you're you're not actually allowed to give something in exchange for a review. Okay. Yeah. So so when we when I consult with my clients, I'm always you know what what I do is I say, and this is this is kind of part of the of when I when I meet with my clients every 30 60 days, I have a strategy session with them and and I consult with them. And one of the things I consult with on them the most is how do you, just what we talked about, how do you get reviews? So one of the biggest things, and this is where you guys have an opportunity as marketing people, is you can consult with your clients on how to get reviews without giving you know, that, that, that bribe or you know, that free dessert or whatever. So one of the ways that we do it is, is we just say, look, you've got to look for those referable moments. It's when somebody is happy about what you did for them. It's real simple. But it's building that culture and getting the whole entire staff to understand that those moments happen all the time. And sometimes we even teach our clients to create those moments. And that's where you, ha you, can, have, you can have fun with it. So like I had my, my, my staff meeting this morning before I, I rushed over here really quick. And, and uh, you know, my team was on the, we were on a hangout. And, um, and I was like, look, you know, we had, we, we did something for a client, and they were happy with us. And it drives me nuts when my team doesn't like drink our own juice. You know what I'm saying? And like, like do what I keep. To, you know, it's like guys, we had a referable moment. What'd you do? Did you ask for a review? Did you did you did you send them a link to our Google Plus page or our Yelp page in San Diego or in Florida to have them review us? You know. And before I forget, you know, after this presentation, please go review. Our business, huh? <laughs> so, so, um, so anyway, so I'm drinking my own juice. So you guys are watching this right now. It's my team's watching this. I know. See, I told you, I'm doing it. So, um, so anyway, so it's it's all about getting those reviews and finding those referable moments. Okay, you guys have got to 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 really instill this in your clients and or your you know whoever's employing you and say, hey, look, you know, I mean, this this is you know, so this is. This is training that I give my staff. This is training that I give to my client staff, and it's about building that reputation marketing culture. Okay, that's that's the big value of what what my company brings is really just creating the awareness. The first part of taking any action is just being aware that the that the problem even exists. So, um, so okay, so you guys get that. So um, do you know? Okay, so we actually one of the things that we do is whenever. So you guys are, are familiar with like an offer, like you got the that's the offer you guys got was the free dessert to get a, to give a review. So every company needs an offer in order to get something in exchange. So we're we're no different. So what we do as our company is is you know we focus it on reputation. So we give every one of our potential clients a reputation review, like a, an online reputation summary, to kind of give them an idea of where they're you know where they're at right now with their reputation, how many bad reviews they had out there. So they get kind of like a ground zero. So this is kind of what the report looks like. So you can go to like your, it's, you go to yourreprreport.com and you can go there and a business can actually run their own reputation report. So they put their phone number in there. Um, it says, yeah, right there. So they put their phone number in right there. And this is, this is applicable to the US, Australia. There's like five different countries, Ireland, England. Um, so they would just, click on click here to get it and then they would get a report immediately back that tells them two things. It tells them how their reputation is. It, it gives them an idea of like how many reviews are out there and how many of those reviews are negative and then it will also tell them the site that they're not actually listed on, which is good. So it gives them an idea of how many people can find them and it will also give them an idea of um, how many bad reviews they have. So they have like a kind of like a you know, like a ground zero, so like a, a place where they can start from. So um, how do you create a reputation marketing strategy? This kind of gets to your point of, and what was your name? Mine? Yeah, Craig? Quay. Quay. 
So, quite so, okay, let me just get that one. So, um, this is kind of like the second part of my presentation, and it's it's more about like how to build that. Like, you know, this is your question, Quay, is, you know, how does a company like build their reputation online? So, um, okay, I'm going to get through in a second. So, and so I, I apologize for some of these slides. They're a little bit funky because we transferred this over to PowerPoint from Keynote. So, so bad reputations, that's why that's, there's no star there on the second one. So, Bad reputation, no reputation. So these are the four types of reputations. Obviously, you want to have the five-star reputation. Um, that's kind of a no-brainer. But like I said before, a lot of people are happy with not having, you know, like having no reviews. So that slide before where, you know, it's 10 reviews in order to be trusted. So that's okay. So the first step is to develop a five-star reputation, market that reputation, manage it, and then, again, create that culture, okay? in the business. So the business really gets a whole bunch of people pushing in the right direction to get these reviews and to get as many as possible that are five star. So um, here's kind of how, here's some of the ways that we do it. So postcards, business cards, this is actually showing up better than my keynote, holy cow, it never does this on my keynote. Um, so business cards, email templates, plus many more. So you can see that what we do is we give our clients these tools, okay? So, like, at that place that you got your dessert, like, they could have just given you, like, a business card or a postcard, and you could, you know, QR code it, and then you could, it would take you right to their landing, their, uh, their review landing page. And so the other thing that we do and that we recommend is that a client, if they've got an email list, so a lot of these businesses have thousands of people on their list, you know? What we recommend is that they, they create some sort of an email that goes out to everybody on their list that will ask everybody and to, to review them. Just, you know, a real, you know, just a real, like, kind of person-to-person -person email that says, hey, look, you know, we, we need reviews. We, we live and, you know, we live on the reviews that we get. And in order for us to kind of get our message out there, we just ask that people like you that have had a great experience with us, you know, review us online. So here's a link, and I put the link right in there, the email. Um, and then that just make you got to make it as easy as possible for somebody to review you. That's the other thing. So that's part. Of, that's a big part of what we do, is we just make this whole process as easy as possible for our clients. That's half the time. Jamie. It took me talking about this at lunch. That one of the things I love about too is that social media and reviews it also lets you know what the problem is. Yeah. So for example, if you're getting all these reviews that you have slow service. Yep. 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 Yeah, and we had the social media speed up, and so you can see anytime anyone says that, we got that. So the line is a skater really long, yeah. where there's a fight here, yeah. where like, you can respond Instant. in real time immediately, yeah. stuff you wouldn't know about, yeah. other than seeing you know, this real-time you know, communication about your, you know, in that case, it's an event, so it's very time-oriented. Well, yeah, I mean, I think what you're saying is, is, that it, is that it really allows the business owner to get feedback directly from their consumer so that they can make changes, yeah. right? Yeah, and that's and that's the the other big part of this of this a big piece of the puzzle to this reputation thing is this reputation strategy is it's really important for these clients for our clients to actually respond to these reviews. That's the other thing is is like half the time I mean, have you got? I don't know if you've had this experience, but I know I have. Where, for example, like I was looking for a hotel, okay, and actually my buddy was telling me this story about him and his wife and how they were looking for a hotel. Well, he asked his wife. You know, she was the one who was doing all the, the shopping. As you know, women do a great job of that. So she, so she was, so she was looking for this hotel, and she was dead set on this one hotel. And David, my buddy knew that they that there was two hotels and actually they both had kind of a very similar reputation like maybe 10 reviews and each one had a couple of bad and so he simply he's like well, hey well why'd you go with the other one and she said well because they responded to those reviews like they were negative reviews but the, but it showed that b because they responded it showed that they cared and so that's the other critical component is 
to engage, just like we do on Facebook every day. You're engaging with other people on Facebook. Well, we need to teach these employers how to engage with their consumers online. I mean, they're like screaming for a engagement from a business when they're saying, you guys didn't do, you know, I mean, it's like, holy cow. I mean, they took the time to write information about your business. A, that's an opportunity to make your business better. And B, it's an opportunity to show that you care by responding and trying to re-engage with that person and maybe even get them to remove the review. Right? So that's, so, so there's two, there's two parts of this. There's, there's getting more positive reviews, but then also engaging or re-engaging with that person, getting them back in in order to try to resolve the issue, meet with them one-on-one, -on -one, and who knows? I mean, it's not just who knows. I mean, I know what the stats are. I mean, when, when I teach my clients how to do this, and I get them to re-engage with their, with their clients, my clients' clients, when they re-engage with that person that left a negative review, they call them up, they email them, do whatever they need to do to get them back in, and they get them back in and they talk to them, eight times out of 10, that person will remove that review. Eight, at least, eight times out of 10. So, and I'm not, I'm not saying you gotta bring them back in, and, and you definitely, and, and obviously, you do not wanna, I never, cons I always tell my clients, look, just get them back in. You don't wanna say, okay, we're, you know, we're gonna give you, you know, 50% off on it. You, don't, you do not wanna post that online, because then everybody is gonna say, you know, you know they're gonna want, you know, it's just human nature. They're gonna wanna, like, tr try to get the same thing. So. So you, you do it privately, you PM them, you know, you private message them, whatever it takes to get them back in and talk to them one-on-one -on -one to try to resolve the problem one-on-one -on -one with that person. And um, so this is a re uh, an example of what we create for our clients. It's called a review uh, landing page, so that private review page right there. That's what this is. And you can see that one of the ways that we actually uh, market our business, our clients' um, uh, businesses with their reputation is by streaming, you see those reviews with the stars on the side there? So we actually take those, our clients' reviews, and we put them on their website, just like that, too. So, so another, for, an, like for example, like this, this might be our, uh, you know, instead of, you know, this being a landing page, this is, you know, like, this might be a website. And those reviews stream on the right-hand side, so that's part of the service that we offer for our clients, is we post all the five-star reviews that come in about that business, on all of the directories, we take those reviews from the directories and we post them on the client's website for them. So they never have to worry about having some guy in India, you know, going, or like, you know, we got a great, we got a new review, can you post it? Okay, $50 and I'll post it for you. And it, took, it took the guy in India like three minutes to do it. You know what I'm saying? Get a log into their WordPress, you know, post a review, boom, it's done. Well, they don't have to pay that $50 every two weeks to get a new review. You know, we do this for them. So what we do is we actually have a code that we, it's a JavaScript code that we have on our end that's on their end. So we, we put the review in on our end and it streams right over to the client's website. So it's automatically updating those reviews and it's only the five stars. So we want to put, obviously, you know, we want to kind of stack the deck a little bit. You know, we're not going to, so we're posting all those great reviews so people can see that other people are having a great experience with our client. Okay? So... One of the most important psychological triggers, and I'm just, this is another kind of, I'm just kind of digressing a little bit here, but one of the most important, whenever you guys are creating websites for your clients or consulting on that, on, on those, there's really, there's four psychological triggers. The number one psychological trigger that you can engage with in people is social proof. So social proof is what we're talking about. So we always put these reviews above the fold. So you guys know what above the fold is, right? So above the fold is, is the first page on a website, for example. It, it goes back to the days of when we had newspapers and, you know, when we used newspapers. And, um, and so the above the fold was, was the part of the newspaper that, that you could see before it, you unfolded it. That's why they called it above the fold. So um, the same thing applies to websites. So, so websites have the, same, have the same thing. So when you first get to a website, it's that... It's the image that you see on that client's site before you actually have to scroll down. So, um, above the scroll down. I don't know. You know, maybe we can like bring it to the <laughs> modern. So, so that you always want those reviews to be on like front and center. You know, have you guys ever seen a heat map for Google, like where people's eyes go? So I would I'd always start. So the heat map they did a study and they looked at where people look 
first on a website, and they always we always start in that top left, and we kind of scan over, because they literally like looked at at people's eyes, and, the, and there's a red area, like bright red area, where people look first. So you want that's like the 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 prime area that you want to take advantage of, and you want to put something like social proof, or authority, or specificity. Those are other those are other psychological triggers that get people to take action. Specificity just means okay, you got to be specific in what you're offering. Authority means you got to be authority. You got to show your authority. Like, have you spoken somewhere? Do you what gives you the authority to be able to teach me about this this topic? And um, so, like for for my presentation, by for example, like I've you know I've been featured on CBS. So I I I start. So you guys can see I'm using the same strategies that I'm talking to you guys about in my presentation even. Because I, I led with authority. I led with the fact that I've been featured on CBS and stuff like that. So, so anyway, so this is a um, this is a review landing page. We create this for our client. The person that so, and by the way, you can see that all the reviews that come in there. You can see that there's a little link there. You see this little thing right here. So that is that. So what we do is we reference the third party directory that that that, that review is actually on. So if it's like Google Plus, we're going to put the Google the Go so in other words, we're actually referencing the third party directories that these reviews are on, because we want people to show that these that these reviews are actually like they're believable, like they're they're not just you know pulled out of thin air. These are reviews that actually live on another on another third party site, okay? And we're actually pulling them in from that site. So, um, okay. So business, you guys know that businesses cannot post reviews on them on their own, right? About their business, like some of the words, like if I if I you know as a business owner and I wanted like a ton of five star reviews, I couldn't just post reviews, you know. And there's there's actually I don't know if you guys have heard, but Yelp just just had a big deal. It was like front page Wall Street Journal where some guy was buying Yelp reviews, and Yelp busted him. And they literally put like on his page that was on Yelp before. They're like, this guy got caught trying to buy reviews. Like that was what it said. When you try to go to his business on Yelp, that's what it said. Like they replaced it. So they're they're like, they take this seriously. Exactly. And and so Yelp is Yelp is really really tough. I mean, they're you know as far as like like some of these other review sites, like you can post review. I mean. You know, you could you could set up like a, bu a bunch of different accounts and and post reviews about your business. And, you know, like City Search and YP.com is real, but Yelp uh, is ain't, is ain't gonna happen. You know, because I mean, they'll I don't know if you have you guys ever seen seen the uh, the filtered reviews on Yelp? They actually have so they have real reviews and then they have filtered reviews. So they'll filter they'll, they filter pretty much a, a lot of reviews. So um and so if you if if you're not a Yelper, how many how many are Yelpers? You guys Yelpers? Okay, so yeah, Yelp. Okay, so how many of you guys probably have friends that are on Yelp that have friended you back, and and you guys have how many reviews have you left on Yelp? Maybe more than like probably two or three, right? So you guys, once you get over, there's something called an elite Yelper. So an elite Yelper is somebody that every single time they post a review, it gets posted. So businesses are actually having elite Yelper parties. Because they know that elite Yelpers reviews will actually go live and they and they stay live and they won't be filtered. That's how, so you can see how, I mean, and they'll have, like, like Cle I was telling Cleve about this, because, you know, our friend has a, has a restaurant, and restaurants are doing this. Like, they'll have, you know, elite, you know, like, they'll have, like, a little sign, you know, elite Yelpers, you know, on, you know, come in on Wednesday if you're an elite Yelper, and you get, like, you know, free food, you get wine and dine, man. You know? It's pretty sweet. So, become an elite Yelper if you want to get some free food. <laughs> so, um... But yeah, so but a business cannot post a review about their business, you know, by themselves. I mean, it's just they'll get filtered nine times out of ten for, for the ones that matter, like Yelp and Google Plus. And so um, here's where it really gets it, it it gets cool for the business though, because you know once that once a business actually builds their reputation online, then they can do all these these fun things. So they can they we can post those reviews to their website. We can post them to their social media. We can we can post them to their email list. So in other words, if, if they use Aweber, if they use any type of HTML, you know, um, email, um, you know, email uh, follow-up system, 
then we just take those same reviews like we like I showed you that come on that were on the side of that review landing page, and we can put them right into their their email their email um, that goes out to the list. So, in other words, you know why not show off those reviews on you know everywhere possible? So if you've got a list and you're sending out emails to you know thousand, two thousand, fifteen, twenty thousand people, you know put those reviews right on that list, you know right in that email. So, um, and we help our clients do that. So. Maps marketing, um, this is where a business gets on the map, okay? So the more positive reviews that you have on Google+, Plus, on Bing, on, on Yahoo, those are, all, those are all portals, as you, you guys use <coughs> Bing or Yahoo? No, anybody? No, see? Yeah. So se that's 75, 80% of people use Google. And, um, and so, but each one of those portals has a local business section in the results. So if you type in dentist San Diego, we could do that, and I'll just do it in a second here maybe, you'll get the maps, okay? So it's important that you show up on those maps with those five stars. So that's another way that you can market your business with your reputation, by showing up on the maps with those five stars. And then the other thing that, we could, that a business can do is, is through sales, and uh, so in other words, a car dealer. Or a solar, you know, a solar panel company where they're dealing one-on-one -on -one with people. The best way to, if somebody's on the fence and they're like, I don't really know if I want to, you know, buy a solar panel today, or I don't know if I want to go with your company, you know, because you know X Y Z company, blah blah blah. Well, you just say, hey, you know, don't trust us. Just you know, let's go online and let's look and see the reviews that other people have left about our business. And um, and then so then that's when that salesperson would just. You know, turn their iPad around or their their laptop and say, "Hey, look, look at what other people have said about the experience they've had with us." You know, and that's so that's probably the most powerful way to leverage these reviews, and that's where things are going to go in the future. And the other thing is, is video. We haven't even talked about this, but but video reviews. So what I do is I actually do these I do these Google Hangouts with my clients every 30 to 60 days just to give them like strategy, like to talk to them about like. Holy cow! You don't have enough reviews. What's going on? You know, like, come on. You know, like, get us some more reviews. You know, how many? You know, whatever, it, whatever we need to talk about in order to kind of move the strategy forward is what we talk about. And I consult with them during that time. But another thing that I, another thing that I'm starting to do and that we're doing is, is I'm getting their their clients to get in front of the camera during the during the meeting, and I just record video testimonials. So it's 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 a very powerful thing. I mean, dude, you guys. You guys could each do this. I mean, seriously, you could make a mint doing this for businesses. <laughs> Just saying. I and mean, this is like huge in demand. Huge. So, I mean, this is stuff that people aren't even thinking about right now. So, yeah. <laughs> I mean, you guys can do just what you guys, I know you guys could do this too. Because, you, you know, you, you, you're not afraid of getting... I mean, you guys have probably all done Skype, right? You've got, yeah. So you've done video Skype, right? So just do that with a business. Get them online and say, hey, you know what? You know, I'm just, uh, I mean, just the concept of you, you presenting this type of concept to a business. I mean, you want to, when do you guys graduate? May? Dude, you talk to a business owner about doing this and you're going to blow their mind. I'm, there is no question that even in May, this is, the, people aren't even going to start talking about this stuff in, for another year or two years. So you lead with this kind of stuff in, your, in, in saying, hey, you know what, like in your resume. And say, hey, look, you know, I'm a specialist and you know, I, can, I can, you know, help you create a reputation marketing culture. I can give you strategies that would help you build your reputation online through video. And you know, this is I know that I know a lot of businesses that would hire like really quickly. I know even even in our area in West Palm, I mean, we've got like so I have a guy that, that worked at Google for a while that works for me, and now he's working for an attorney firm that is uh, Lemoyne, I think it's Lemoyne. They're they're, re they're regional, they're pretty big, but they have an in they have an in house person that, that does that does SEO and stuff. But and they're paying those guys. They're paying those guys a lot of money, and that's just for a that's just for a, an attorney firm, let alone a big. You know what I'm saying? You're probably shooting for, you know, 
I don't know, like Procter and Gamble or you know, I mean, I don't know. I mean, so I mean, you bring this kind of stuff to that kind of a business, and they're gonna they're gonna make room for somebody like that. So, um, so so the other thing that we do for our clients is, is we we do daily monitoring, we do biweekly reporting. So we make them aware. So remember I told you about awareness is really the first step. So we, we help them become aware of these reviews that are online, and we send them an, an alert every single time a review comes in. So we set up these systems in order to make sure that they know what's going on. And, um, and that's pretty much it. So this is what we kind of close our clients on. Because I always ask them this, this question, and they never have, and they're, they're like, yeah. I'm like, so you expect your staff to get first, this is like the close, this is like, you know, this is where I'm like, holy cow. Like, I just, so what's your plan, so I'm like, what, so what's your plan to inspire your staff to get first class service to your customers and get raving re and get reviews? So you guys have a plan for that, right? And they're always like, no, you know, so that's where, it's, that's where, okay, so we can put that together. So we actually have like a, a, repu a, a reputation training center that we put together for our clients where they can send out a link to everybody in their, in their staff, everybody in their company, and they watch these videos, they take a quick, a quick like 10 question test, and those results go back to the business owner so that, so that they know that everybody on their staff knows what I just shared with you guys. So we, we take care of even the training for these, for these businesses. So, um, so anyway, that's pretty much it. So your reputation, so this is what we close them with. And so we just say, you know, every company needs a strategy and we can put one, you know, together for you. So, and these are, this is pretty interesting. This is pretty okay. Harvard, and if so, because if, like if you go to an interview and they, and they say, ah, this is really not a big deal. I don't know. Come on, you can say, okay, so you know that little school called Harvard. So they did a study, and it was one star increase in Yelp ratings led to a five to nine percent increase in revenue. So and that's pretty huge. So no no additional marketing. They didn't have to. So this company didn't have to spend any money on marketing. And they and all they did is just improve their reputation, and they and it led to close to a 10% increase in revenues. So this is granted. This is this is this is a you know this is not this is actually a uh, with restaurants, but I think this this point can be made across the board for all businesses. And there was even a study that was done by I believe it was Stanford, and there's and the same thing. They keep seeing the same thing that you just increase your reputation. And see, it's also, I think that that number could actually be increased if you leverage it properly. If, if a culture is built within a business that understands this process and understands the importance of it and leverage it, leverages it properly. Because if those employees and the salespeople start leveraging the, the reviews online and it's, and it's a good one, I think it's like, that's just the tip of the iceberg is in terms of what a company can do. So, oh yeah, here's the, uh, oh, this is the Berkeley study. So there's another. There's, so there's there's data out there, you know, that 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 supports this. And that one's uh, one to five. A half star rating increases translates to 90% greater likelihood that an eatery's seats will be full during peak dining times. So that's pretty that's pretty significant. So so yeah. So what what questions do you guys have? Hopefully I. Well, more in regards to you and what you do. Um, like what kind of companies do you work with? So we have anywhere from the, the local dentist all the way to the, um, we've got a turn, primarily it's, it's, it's who can afford our services. <laughs> this is really what it comes down to. And a lot of guys, a lot of business owners just can't because they're, they're just struggling to survive. You know, I mean, they just, and I've seen it, you know, they're, they don't, they're just, they don't have a budget. You know, they don't, it's not a line item. You know, they don't even understand that, okay, I've got to have a budget for marketing. So I get really excited when I see a business that, that has a budget. And, um, and then, and you think most businesses have those, but they, they don't. And I'm surprised continually, like, what size of the business I'm dealing with and, and the fact that they don't even have budgets for marketing. So, um, but typically it's anywhere from the, from the local dentist all the way to, we've got a, you know, a franchise that's got uh, 40 locations that we deal with. And, um, yeah, I mean, and I like those because it's like I deal with one person that usually gets it, you know, like they understand what we're doing, how we're doing it, and then they can disseminate the information out to everybody else. And that way I can take on one, like really one client and get a whole bunch of business, you know what I'm saying? So I really like 
I want to get a lot more of those. <laughs> but, but, um, but yeah. So those are you know, and that that's a it's an optical store. That's the franchise. So dentists, doctors, solar companies. Yeah, if you guys know any solar companies that that need any, you know, let me know. We will, you know, we we uh, yeah, we we yeah, we love using yeah. How are you guys like? Facebook, yeah, that's a good question. That's a that's a really good question because that's we're in, or well, we say we're in beta, but it's actually it's it's a tool now that we give to everybody that that pays for it. So we sign people up for a certain amount, and then they and then we we say okay, if you want us to post to your social media, like post their reviews to their social media, then we do that for an additional cost. So. So yeah, that, that's a great, because you know, obviously you know, we want to market that reputation, so that's a big part of it. So what we do is we, just like you saw, the, you know, we, we have those reviews on the, on the website, so we actually post those same reviews to our clients' social media accounts. So Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, um, and you know, because you know, it's amazing when you have, you know, if somebody engages with a review that we post and they've got a million followers, you know, it's like, uh, it just, you know, you can get a lot more marketing out of that. Yeah. Yeah. So what we do, we we charge the way our services are set up is we have kind of a suite of services. So we build we build the review landing page, we build the review training center for the clients, we set up the alerts and the reports for the clients, um, we post the reviews to their their website to their social media. Um, what else? I know I'm leaving something out, but those are the those are the five primary things that we do, and we charge anywhere from depending on. What you know? How many of those services they get? We charge anywhere from five hundred to two thousand a month. Yeah, and uh, up to you know we've got clients that pay over ten thousand a month. So, yeah. So yeah, go. Ahead. Um, do you see a pretty large connect between how often dentists post online and the business that they get? Uh, so between between like what? The frequency that a company will post online versus how much business they get because of it. Yeah, I mean. How much business that the, the business gets? Yeah, I mean, they're on, in social media. I mean, yeah, yeah. I mean, it's it's amazing. Like I, I was, I think I was talking to you, Jamie, about uh, a, I don't even think businesses really understand the power of social media. I've got a buddy of mine who is a paleo expert. He's you know the paleo diet, whatever. So he started this paleo website about a year ago. He's got over fifty five, sixty thousand followers now. He's making a six-digit income just from that following that he's got in less than a year. And so, is he posting every day? Yeah, he's posting every day, three times a day, at strategic times. He knows when people are following him. He knows when people are opening his, his post. He's got it down to a science. It's a system, and it, it's a strategy, and it's not for ev not everybody. It, that's a we don't we post content, but we're not. See, there's a human element that I've determined is involved in that process and he's got it and certain people have it and so you might be the next you know if you've got something that you want to get out there to the world and and, and you're great in social media and it, it takes a certain person to be good at social media you, you could be you could make a lot of money doing that because he's doing it and I didn't think it was possible and we masterminded with him and I was just like holy cow and he's got his first book coming out here pretty soon He's doing, you know, YouTube videos now, and he's not even using Google Hangouts. You know, all he's doing is just social media, and he's just in that one little niche. He's just gotten really good at it, and he just he spends like 15 minutes on his business a week. I mean, it's crazy. Dude. I mean, you know, so. To learn more about this, well, yeah, let me know. I mean, I, I you know. If you have, give me your information, because um, there's, I don't think there, you know, I don't know that there's any schools that really teach this information. You know what I'm saying? You know, my background's in in sales. You know, I was an accountant before that, and you know, I just had a dream to be able to ha to have a business that I could kind of run wherever I wanted and and have clients and engage with them on a you know on a on a personal level, and and it, it excites me to be able to get their phone ringing. You know, like that's I like that. I like the excitement. Like when I, like when we when we do SEO and we do all the other things, everything is ROI based. So we we track every single phone call and we listen to every call. And when I'm when I'm with my client every 30 to 60 days, 
and we listen to the phone calls, and somebody's like, yeah, we found John. I'm like, yeah. You know, I'm like, you know, I love that because, like, that is, that is at the heart of what our mission and our vision is as a company, you know. So if that is something that, you're, that interests you, then, yeah, I would, you know, we can talk later, and I can kind of point you in the right direction. But a lot of this stuff, I mean, I love, don't, don't get me wrong, I mean, I, the institution of yeah, the university is great, and I got a lot out of going to the University of Florida. But there's a lot that you can learn outside of the university, and it's up to you to really educate yourself to get that, that continuing education because, to be quite honest, I just don't think the universities, and Jamie and I were talking about this, I, th I don't think that universities in general are really keeping up. Things are, cha things are changing so fast. I mean, I already showed you guys how there's big, you know, four big game changes that happened the past eight months in my industry. How can a university that takes years sometimes to develop curriculum change that fast. They can't change as fast as things are changing. So that's the dis that's why you're asking me that question. Do you have an university company here? Um, yeah. Yeah, we do. We'd, I'd love to have an intern that, that gets this stuff. <laughs> Holy cow. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. I mean, I definitely would because it's, 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 it's a challenge. You know, I mean, you know, and, and even, you know, and I just say this too, just, be, you know, it's not just the younger generation that gets this. It, it also takes somebody that, that, that understands strategy and can think in, in different, you know, like, and I think that's what you get here in, this, in, the, in the college experience. Because I, you know, so I would love to talk to you or anybody about, yeah. Um, this is kind of like on a different note. How long, how old is your company? And then, like, I know you just kind of you said you started it yourself. I yep. Guess. Yep. How long before it like became profitable when you saw like? like well, I mean, well, I well, I, that's that's what's so cool about now is that is that you can if you if you get the right training and you get the right education and you really apply yourself, you can grow a business so quickly. Like that example of the Facebook guy. Um, specifically, my business. You know, I've we started about five, five four or five years ago. Um, I was, you know, I was doing decent for probably three years. I got a business coach about three and a half, well, about, about a year and a half ago, and I, I, we've grown, you know, we grew 500%, you know, and, and I'm not just saying this because of the business coach. I think it was because he helped me, he helped me just kind of, like, apply myself. He helped me to really just kind of focus. Yeah, and so, you know, it's, it kind of goes back to the, you know, for me, it's like, you know, I just had to have that vision in my head of what I wanted. And the thing that I would encourage you guys to do is, because I thought 10 years ago that, because I grew up where my dad, you know, where we were from, Pratt & Whitney, I don't know if you guys are familiar with them, but they're a, they're a big company. And everybody in Palm Beach Gardens, where we're from, like, their parents all worked at Pratt. And that was, like, the old way of, like, old school, like, doing, like, these guys all, like, lived there, they retired there, they worked there for 35 years, and that was it. So I never thought that I'd ever have anything else but that. And then I, when I was like, you know what? I don't know that that's really what, you know, I, like I think that I can do something. That, I don't want to just like commute out to, remember? It's out in the, way out in the middle of nowhere to like, you know, and, and have a job like that. I wanted to like, you know, with I could see technology was changing and I was like, okay, you know, I think I can have something different than that. And, and you can. And that's why I want you guys to really like think that, you know, you can, I mean, I can run my business from anywhere, you know, I mean, I can, I've got employees in, in the Philippines, I've got employees in, you know, all over the world, and so, you know, it's really, you know, you guys have, you're in a, you know, an amazing time right now, and I, I was told that when I was, but really, I mean, you guys, you have some tools here that, you know, that, that you can really leverage to not only grow your business, but to grow other people's businesses, so um, you can grow a business really quickly. Um, if you focus on the right products, I would definitely focus. I would never just do, I don't. I personally would never like build websites for anybody because it's sub, it's so subjective. It's like back and forth, and oh, it's you know, it's, you, know you can get. I I want to I want to basically implement a product that where there's not a lot of back and forth, where it's like you know this is what you're getting, and you can get it in any color you want as long as it's black. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like that is that's the kind of service that I that I want to deliver because 
when I get into this back and forth with the client, it just it just kills profitability. It kills efficiency. I can't manage a business like that from from any beach in the world. <laughs> right? It's just you know I'd be talking to you know my my fulfillment guys in the Philippines all day long about issues with people's websites. You know, so so yeah. So that yeah you. Um, what other questions? Any? I didn't say you hit pretty much everything. Uh, you said our topic was on like how technology has changed the whole behavior of consumers over yeah. the past you're saying, five years or so. Yep. It's just a completely different game now. Major. There's so many things. Yeah. Well, I mean, I think, you know, I only, this is only, this really isn't even like techno, you know, how can, I mean, I could go into so many other aspects of like Google Hangouts and, you know, I mean, there's so many other things that I could talk to you guys about, you know, that would just, what is Google Hangout? so a Google Hangout is like Skype, but it's on Google. And, and the beauty is, is like right now, like I'm streaming live. So I, I, there's, I don't know if you guys can see that screen right there, but, but this, this little, this, this little button right here, this is going to freak people out that are actually watching this. So. That right there, all I do is click that little red button, and it makes it go live. Do you know who's watching? Um, I've got one, two, I don't know. I've got a few viewers right now. You can see that there's, yeah. So that is now, that's live on the internet. But the beauty is that's actually recorded to my YouTube channel. So I've got this as, as social proof that I've, you know what I'm saying? So I'm constantly building my authority, my social proof. Now I've, you know, I've spoken at university. And so, you know, I, I have clients, see, my sales team also wants me to have, they want me to present at associations. So, you know, I want to have, I want to have a recording of me presenting so that he can pass that on to people that might want to have me speak at their association. So, um, so, but Hangouts are, are very powerful because they're live. As many people as you want can watch them live, but you can also record them so you can have them you can get. The, I could get this video ranked for, for example, like uh, Reputation Management San Diego, and then people would watch this, and then we'd put <clears throat> like an offer at the end that would say, hey, you know, you can get your free reputation report by going to yourreputreport.com, and then that gets them in the funnel. And so, so yeah, so we we license that because we saw that there was huge value in that that people would want that if they're looking for our services. So you got to have. So yeah, so you guys, so this is, you know, so you guys should have some like some bells going off. Like, okay, these are these are all strategies. You always have to have an offer for your client. Um, you could, you know, you could just set these Google Hangouts up with your clients, and I mean, that's just a huge. I mean, this it does. It really gives a business owner the ability to have their own TV station if it's done correctly. Um, you know, another thing that I'm always consulting with my clients about is, is okay, well. How do we get more content? You know, because it's so hard for them to like have. They don't. None of them have time to write content like a blog post. But they all have time to meet with me and find out what we're doing and you know how we're doing and and so at the end of the meeting, I I, I initiate all those meetings as a hangout. At the end of the meeting, I just I click that little red button there and then we just record and I just have them talk about what people, you know, what's what's going on in their business, you know. So it's easier for them to, to record a video as, than for them to write, a, write an article. So what we do is we record the video, and then we write articles from the video. So that right there is something that you could offer. I mean, that's a huge, um, it's just a matter of you know, getting businesses, making them aware of these tools, and, and then giving them the ability to actually use these tools and, and you know, like I said, create content just like, like, you know, like we're doing right now. You live in San Diego. Uh, yeah, yeah, I live in in, uh, in the village, East Village. Yep, yeah. Well, I, I was, yeah. We we both. It's funny because we both kind of transplanted here from from South Florida. And now you're in Tampa, so yeah, yeah. It's just pretty nice here. <laughs> so, but yeah, I mean, hopefully you guys. How much more time do we have? Do we have any more? Yeah, I mean, I could. I could talk for, you know, 
for a while on this, but um, yeah, yeah, I do. I think, um, yeah, I mean, I, yeah, I mean, I'd love to talk to you guys about, you know, I mean, there's so much that that we could, you know, I mean, I mean, do, so you guys really, yeah, you guys don't, you guys don't talk about this stuff in your other your other classes too much. I'll put some of these cards up here so you guys can, if you want to grab them. Um, I think, you know. Um, yeah, so you got so, but there's other students here besides Mark. Who there, there's other besides besides marketing students, weren't there? Yeah, and and okay. Um, yeah, I'm just trying to think. Um, yeah, I think that there's a lot that um, that you guys can do to to really, um, you know, if if you do get a job, you can you know you can leverage these these technologies to. To get a business's message out there, um, and by the way, in order to in order to set up a hangout, all you need is a Google account. So it's just it's just so easy. Like the barrier to entry for this stuff is is super easy. So um, so anyway, yeah, just just grab my card if you guys have any questions. You know, you're more than welcome to call me. All right, you bet. Yep.